Good morning, church family. Pastor Dan here. And to visitors, welcome to our devotional channel here at Rockhampton Baptist. Over the course of the year, amongst the many physical, health and spiritual challenges, we've heard God say to our church that I want you to understand how to walk with me. Out of this birthed our spiritual theme for the year, which is walking with God. In the last week of August, I stumbled across a passage in Exodus 33 that had never really stood out to me before until now. Moses, in fact, here records a conversation that he had with God. Now, it doesn't mention whether it was an audible conversation with God or by any other means, but here we find a good example of how we are to communicate with God through whatever challenges we face. Remembering this conversation, when you actually have a look at the context, uh, took place in the desert between Egypt and and the Promised Land, in a period where the nation was complaining, they'd started worshipping other gods. Remember the story of the, the cow and, and worshipping Baal? And, and they, were, they were being sustained by God with a flaky-like bread substance called manna, which God gave them each day. Let me take you to Exodus 33 as we pick up this conversation. Now one day Moses said to the Lord, You have been telling me, take these people up to the promised land. But you haven't told me whom you will send with me. You have told me, I know you by by name, and I look favorably on you. If this is true, that you look favorably on me, let me know your ways so that I may understand you more fully and continue to enjoy your favor. And remember that this nation is your very own people. The Lord replied, I will go personally, I will personally go with you, Moses, and I will give you rest. Everything will be fine for you. Then Moses said, If you don't personally go with us, don't make us leave this place. How will any, anyone look favor anyone know that you look favorably on me? On me and your people, if you don't go with us. For your presence among us sets your people and sets me apart from all the other people on the earth. The Lord replied to Moses, I will indeed do what you have asked, for I will look favorably on you, and I know you by name. Moses responded, Then show me your glorious presence. The Lord replied, I will make all my goodness pass before you, And I will call out my name, Yahweh, before you. For I will show mercy to anyone I choose, and I will show compassion to anyone I choose. But you may not look directly at my face, and no one may see me and live. The Lord continued, Look, stand near me on this rock, as my glorious presence passes by, and I will hide you in the crevice of the rock, and cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will remove my hand and let you see me from behind. But my face will not be seen. In the midst of everything that's going on with Moses and the nation of Israel at this time, you have Moses communicating with God and seeking God's advice further on how to take God's people to the promised land. You see, in verse 12, he reflects with God on what he knows about God. He knows God has called him to take these people to the promised land. But Moses said, you haven't told me who you're going to send with me. Now, Moses fully relied on God at this moment, and he wasn't going to go anywhere or take the next step in their journey without some helper from God to take him there. But Moses once again re- reflects on that he know- what he knows about God. God knows Moses' name. There's a connection there. He knows that God looked favorably upon the people. And he asked to show me your ways. Show me God's ways. This conversation that Moses has with God demonstrates the relationship that, that can be had and the relationship that God had with Moses and the relationship that we can also have with God. Now Moses clearly knew that God had called him. He also knew a fair bit about God. And with God, 
in that way and what he knew he dug deeper into the questions and to communicate with God. In, the, in this conversation, you see that he knows God, he knows the truth of what God is about, and he starts to ask into that truth. And as he goes and asks the questions and God responds, he actually really gets to the question that Moses should have been asking in the first place. And this question was to show, for God to show him his glorious presence. And as he asked that question, God replied, God replied with this, and he says, I will make all my goodness pass before you, and I will call out my name, Yahweh. That's what God wanted to do in the first place. That's what God wanted to do to lead his people. And this passage of scripture is actually reflected in one of our modern contemporary songs by Bethel Music called The Goodness of God, which writes, all my life you have been faithful. All my life, you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. Those lines aren't scripture, but they look and reflect about this time. And you can imagine Moses speaking some of those words as well, knowing that God is faithful, knowing that God has been good, and knowing that, that Moses will continue to sing of the goodness of God and continue to declare the goodness of God as he does and as we can read in Exodus 33. So how can you walk closer with God like Moses did? There's two things. Let's, let's get to know God more. Moses intentionally knew God and out of that truth, he could better communicate with God. And so let's communicate with God better out of the truth of the scriptures. And with our God, the creator of all things, it's a merciful, compassionate and good God. Let me pray for you this morning. Dear Lord, I thank you that we can know you. Lord, I thank you that you've provided your truth and your word in which we can now communicate with you. We can hear your voice and we can speak back through prayer as well with you. Lord, help us to continue to draw closer to you. Help us to walk with you daily, every moment of the day. Help us to understand how you're working and what you're doing. And Lord, help us to ask the right questions. Maybe start with the wrong question, but it may lead to the, lead to the right question. Lord, help us to do that. Give us the boldness to do that tonight. Amen. Keep walking with God. Let him talk, uh, talk to him and let him talk back as you read the Bible. And when he does, speak, trust, and obey. Keep looking for opportunities to bless others. We'll see you soon.